Last episode, we built a bit of a space station. And so, in today's episode, we're going to be powering the spaceship and then adding some components to it. So on my old space station, we actually have a few fuel generators and things that are just like absolutely just sitting there. Yeah, don't forget to put the space suit on, as always. Here we go. And we're on the old space station now. Seems kind of strange being here again. But uh, this is where we're looking for. We're, we're going to take a look around, see if we can find anything that uh, we can just scavenge and take. For example, this entire room here. So after a little while, a, a bit of work and all that, I harvested everything in the room. It took a while, and it was really annoying. I got all the components that work, and even the ones that don't work. I got this, this oxygen vent. I can't even get it to work. You know, remember that? I could not figure out how to get this thing to work, so we're definitely not going to be using that. Somebody told me it's the yacht. Exactly. I, I did not know what it was before, but thank you to the person who told me it's not yacht or yak or, uh, yatched or yatch. Uh, it's actually yacht. I forgot my oxygen. Oh, crap. <laughs> yes, welcome to the pyramid. The great pyramid. Um... This is where we're gonna put all of the engines, I think. We're gonna have, like, entire rows of engines down here. We're gonna have millions of them. Then in the middle, we're gonna put, uh, the infinite water source. But we don't have the infinite water source right now, because, you know, we haven't hooked up all these engines yet. Yeah, actually, to put the engines in here, we're gonna need to have them set up like this. And the reason why is because we need one piping setup that handles water, like there. And then we have to have another setup that's gonna handle the oil. Like there. In hindsight, I should have done it the other way around, where the oil comes in from the sides, so that way you can just pump it from like the top or the center or something. And for the bottom, that should have been the water, because water pumps are weird, and that's the way they like to go. It'd be easier, and it would use less piping. So that would be uh, the best way to do it. And, you know, I chose diesel power because it's it's very ecologically friendly, as you all may know. Uh, our spaceship will be filling the atmosphere, with, or the, the outer space, with uh, good amounts of carbon dioxide. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna make a gigantic smoke trail. It's gonna be so good. Run into an issue with the- oh crap, no, don't- okay. Good thing the pyramid's pretty nice and wide, otherwise the sandstone would've just fallen right off. But I've run into a problem with the, uh, the thing downstairs, the, um, the pump. The pump, the pump just wants to float there, it doesn't want to actually connect. I hooked up the, the, the thing wrong. Th that is not a problem with mechanism, not a problem with any of the mods. I just hooked it up backwards. <laughs> it's like the easiest mistake. No clue why, but, you know, sometimes these things happen and they're strange and we don't understand. Oh, I'm- I'm dumb. I inverted where they go. Okay. <laughs> and I know some of you are gonna be wondering why I yawn so much, and that's because it's literally 4.16. Well, right now it was, but it was 3 when I recorded this, and uploaded the previous videos, you know? So, we're gonna need some water for our space station. Of course, Th that makes sense. Uh, where's the buckets at? Right, give me another bucket so I don't have to do... Okay, that one's just set up right now for building some other important things. Uh, why don't I have a crafting table up here that's actually not being used for anything? Maybe I should have started the crafting table apocalypse up here again. Yeah, I got four buckets, we're ready to go. And... Into the water. Never mind, straight into the sand. I'm pretty sure if you landed in sand... It would actually be better than landing on water. I have like a slight suspicion that if you jump onto sand, instead instead of like, you know, just hitting the water like it's concrete, but if you jumped into like some sand, it'd probably be like, I don't know, maybe it would be the same, but I feel like the sand would like be more cushiony. Because that's why they use it at playgrounds, We're gonna right? set up the hydrogen electrolyzer thing. We need a um, some fluid output hatches. Fluid input hatches, and I think that's it. I think it goes like this. Sorry, I'm yawning a lot here, but I think it goes like this, this, uh, 
this, this, uh, this. Uh, you need power, energy going to there, coil, right click, everything good. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is hook up the, uh, the airlocks to the, um, the good old space yacht. Yeah, uh, yacht. Sorry, it's, it's still hard to pronounce because I keep forgetting it's a yacht. Okay, space yacht. The next thing we need is a battery or something, or like a thousand of them because if you think about it this is gonna need a lot of power and these are just a few gasoline generators we're running literally a warp engine on diesel and I just jumped off the tower with a oh my gosh oh my gosh I just uh, did not die there you know at this point I'm just kind of used to this need energy cells and energy cells we need we need a lot of energy cells I mean, we can make a bunch of induction cells. I hate induction cells. Because they're hard to craft. Well, actually, if, if I think about this, we could just duplicate the stuff for these. I, I don't want to do that, though. So I'm just going to make basic energy cells, and then maybe we should duplicate these, because it'd be uh, pretty easy to just duplicate one of these and then have a million of them. But yeah, this thing likes to be made with two iron ingots. An energy tablet and an energy tablet and also you need redstone dust four pieces for the corners and then you have a basic energy cube and these are good for um, energy storage if you could not tell <laughs> see so yeah, now that we have this energy cube what we could do is effectively make a bunch of copies of it but I don't know do you want me to make a bunch of copies of it? let me know down below because it'd be really easy if we just did that instead of making a million of them and I still do need to make a million backpacks for the, uh, the the glitch. So we'll go up there now, and then I think we're gonna be done for today. All right, so we need a bunch of satchels. Yeah, and the reason I haven't crafted these yet and haven't gotten these out of the way is because I didn't have any tin with me. Holy crap, that's a lot of satchels. Uh, okay, throw them in there. Yep. So in the future, we're gonna be able to duplicate more items. I don't know what should I duplicate. We could definitely make the, um, what are they called? What the heck? Oh, maybe I need to open some of these, because, uh, yeah. Okay, throw it in there. Because it has NBT or something. Throw it in there, throw it in there, and it's not stacking. These three, you don't want to be friends with these three. Of course, yeah, it just doesn't like to be a stack of 17 here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's just how it likes to be. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I don't have much time left. I have to do a ton of things today. So, you know, feel free to like and subscribe. If you guys got any comments, questions, or suggestions, especially about, you know, what we're doing with the spaceship, if I haven't already done that yet, you know, let me know down below. I'll see you all next time, and uh, goodbye. Yeah.